Uh, a little flat? Yeah. It, it was... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 here, here, let's play it back. Please don't. No, 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 it's okay, it's an auto-tuner. Yeah, it'll <laughs> John, be great. no amount of auto-tuning is gonna oh, fix... Oh, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I'm cry. I wish I could hear it, I have no headphones. Oh, no. No, 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 not again. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and welcome, welcome to, to the So-and-So so Show. What a show we have for you today. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are we forgetting something? It feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Did you get peanut butter? Check. Two jars. Check, check. Did you binge all 10 hours of the new season of Professor Gamma and his search for meaning? Check. Did you comb your hair? Check. Hmm. Did you write a letter to your pen pal in Cedar Rapids? Check. Did you pay your water bill? Check. Hmm. Did you do your morning uh, stretches? Check. Huh. I mean, what is it? Oh, oh, wow, we told Melinda Manners that we would learn oh, that song. Yeah, right, she asked us to learn a new song and we promised we would. Yeah, but we haven't. Yet. Yet! So, let's get to it before she gets here. How hard could it be? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, do, do you know where the music is? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I have it around here somewhere. It's not on the rock'em sock'em? Did somebody say Manners? Melinda, welcome back. Oh. Welcoming with words is something I commend, but welcoming with actions can prove you are my friend. <laughs> and by my actions, I mean perhaps offer me a chair so I'm not standing here looking from person to person trying to give you a hint sometimes called a social cue. Oh, right, oh, right, 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 right. Uh, chair, chair. Here's a chair, it's, it's still got a chair. <laughs> All right, so, uh, for those of you that may not have met Melinda before, uh, she's a friend of ours that, that teaches us how to use good manners. Yes. Quite right. <laughs> when you're with a good friend, someone you can trust, you can be yourself, but good manners are a must. Which brings me to the reason I've come here today. Oh. <laughs> I've been looking for that. Oof. Oh. Oh. Thank you. All right. I believe we are ready. Oh, oh, you mean for the... For the song you promised to learn so that we could all sing together. Mm-hmm. Okay, so a little warm up. I love my voice. We love our voice. Let us begin. Friendship. 
that's when you come in. I sing, when I think of friendship. And you sing, I think about you. Think about you, yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, I must have slipped yes. my... Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, we gotta know. Quite all right, once more. When I think of friendship. I think about you. We count on each other. It's true. So true. It's true. Did you not like the original lyrics? Oh, no, I mean, I think, I think, I think. No, quite all right. I think I like it's true, so true. We can rehearse something different. I just thought. We count on each other like a new pair, pair of, of shoes. shoes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the original lyrics are way yeah, better. Totally. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So we'll go from the top. Let's do it. When I think of friendship, I think about you. We count on each other like a new pair of shoes. Piano solo! And then we all come in together. It's important to remember when the December or September that a friend's a friend's of course no matter if your voice is hoarse. We promised we'd learn this song but it's quite but clear we're quite totally wrong. wrong. We're just sure going to keep singing, singing, pretending that we know what we're, we're doing, doing, but we actually have no clue. clue. And now we yeah, look we like, we like, like a like couple of buffoons. buffoons. <sighs> well, I must admit I am a bit disappointed. Are you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Melinda, I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we promised you we'd learn this song and, and we forgot. I, I, uh... Thank you for your apology. But I do think it's time for my next appointment. Uh -oh. Excuse me. Oh, man. I feel terrible. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Well, I know a good place to start. Time machine. No. Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Yeah, hey. What's up, fellas? You seem blue. Yeah, we just, we just let down a friend of ours and... and... We're wondering if you can help. Yeah, we, we promised her we'd do something for her and we didn't do it. Oh man, that's tough. You know, I don't know if it will help everything, but I do have a story about a couple of friends from the Bible that went through some tough times together. That sounds good, Kellen. Take it away. All right. Our story today is about one of the more famous people from the Old Testament, David. What's going on? I'm David. Now, David had done some incredible things for Israel. He had defeated the giant Goliath in battle, and he was made a leader by King Saul. But King Saul eventually became jealous and did not care for David. Uh, I'll get you, David! Arr! In fact, Saul wanted to kill David. Die, David! Die! Um, yeah, King Saul was a very angry dude. Which is why this next part is so crazy. David's absolute best friend in the whole wide world was King Saul's son, Jonathan. Well, hello to you. Name's Jonathan. One day, David went to talk to Jonathan. Hello, bestie. My father wants to kill you. Oh. Tomorrow, hide in a field. I will bring my father and then tell you what I find out. Brilliant. The next day, Jonathan talked to his father, King Saul, and Saul promised not to kill David. But sometime later, while David was playing his harp, 
Suddenly, King Saul flew in with a rage. Ah! He threw a spear and tried to kill David. Ah! Uh-oh. After running from Saul for some time, David found his best friend, Jonathan. Your dad is trying to kill me. I promise I'll find out what my father's going to do. But promise me your friendship. Be kind to me as long as I live and never stop being kind to my family. I promise. Days later, Jonathan discovered that his dad really did want to kill David. So Jonathan gave his friend the terrible news. <laughs> David! <laughs> Jonathan! Go in peace. We have promised to be friends. God is a witness between your children and my children forever. David had no choice. He had to leave his friend. But he always kept his promise. Time passed, King Saul died, and so did Jonathan. And the new king of Israel was David. And he remembered the promise he made to Jonathan. Huh, I wonder if anyone is still alive from the family of Saul. I want to be kind to them because of my friend, Jonathan. Ziba! You cold, your majesty. Is there anyone still alive from Jonathan's family? God has been kind to me. I want to be kind to that person in the same way. Hmm, let me think. <clears throat> oh, a son of Jonathan is still living. I'll bring him to you. <laughs> Jonathan's son was named Mephibosheth. Both of Mephibosheth's feet were hurt badly and he couldn't walk. And because of that, he wasn't always treated with kindness. But David had Mephibosheth's back and he brought him in to give him some pretty incredible news. But Mephibosheth was very afraid. Mephibosheth? I'm ready to serve you. Mephibosheth! The resemblance is uncanny. I will be kind to you because of your father, Jonathan. And I want to give you back all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul. And I will provide whatever you need. What? Why? Your father, Jonathan, was a dear friend. I made a promise to him. And friends keep their promises. David was true to his word. Mephibosheth was always taken care of, and David remembered him, just like he promised Jonathan he would many years before. The end. Wow. Yeah. Incredible story, Kellen. Yeah, I think so. David didn't have to keep that promise to Jonathan. In fact, in many ways, David and Jonathan could have been rivals, but David remembered his friends and the promises he made. Man, I wish I could be more like David. <laughs> well... David wasn't perfect. He made some pretty big mistakes. And, you know, he was human just like us. But God was still able to use him. And we can still learn from his story today. Hey, thanks, Kellen. Yeah. All right, I'll see you next time. You know, it's good to have friends you can trust. Absolutely. I trust you, buddy. Oh, well, thank you, and I trust you. Yeah. Everyone should have a friend they can trust. In fact, reveal the question. Mm. Who is a friend you can trust? Yeah, you know, a friend you can trust is someone who's there when you need them. Yeah, they're the kind of person who does what they say they'll do. Yeah, they <laughs> keep their promises. Like we should have done with Melinda. Yeah. You know what, maybe it's not too late. It, it took years for David to finally keep his promise to Jonathan. You're right. Let's not wait years to keep our promise. Mm. Let's work on the song. Absolutely. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. So and So. How did it start again? It was. Uh, it was a pair of shoes. No, that was not the beginning. That oh. was when oh. you need a friend. When I think uh, it's you. When I think of friends. When I think of your friends, they wear lots of shoes. That's it. Yeah. When I think of your, your friends, friends, they, they wear, wear lots, lots of shoes. shoes. Then we went to the store. And Not there was the horse. There's a horse in there. Oh, horses. You have some horses. horses. Friendship is incredible. Stronger than Elmer's glue. Excellent.
Thank you. <laughs> that was exactly the way it sounded in my head. <laughs> you learned the song like you promised. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being such good friends. Absolutely, absolutely. Now on to choreography. Right. Two, three, four. Oh. Kickball change, oh. kickball change. Shot of pot of pot of ray. So the shot, so the shot. Turn, PK turn. I don't know any preacher's kids. <laughs> <laughs>